Leslie, come see this. Check out this video April sent me. Hey guys, I'm at Johnny's place in Venezuela. It's okay, I guess. He has like five million rooms. And this is only his guest house. Holy cow. There's a lot of guys with guns here. It's better than my mom's house, I guess. So tell Leslie I don't know when I'm gonna be back. Oh, and Donna's here. Hey guys. Hola. Call Satan's niece. Hey, what do you want? And this is me DJing a boat party in Venezuela. Kind of reminded me of the two weeks you and I spent there. Oh, yeah, that happened. Yeah, it did. Is this landmine still functional? Partially. Why? Because I want to blow up Donna's desk so I can teach her a lesson about what happens when you skip work. I'm not sure that's how you should go about this. I'm kind of her boss now, but I still feel weird disciplining her. What do I do? Look her in the eyes and tell her exactly what you need from her. Be mature, direct, and firm. What? Some fool just slammed me on Yelp. I took Ron's advice. I very maturely and straightforwardly left anonymous comments about Donna online. Stop by to adopt a dog, but the employee, Donna Meagle, was nowhere to be found. Thanks for nothing, Donna Meagle. Boo. With five O's. Oh my god, that sucks. Just have to work harder, I guess. Huh. This freak thinks he can hide behind some anonymous username? I'm about to hunt you down. Just give me the IP address of the dude that gave me that cracked out Yelp review. OK, here we go. The IP address says it came from someone inside City Hall. In this building? Oh. Hell no. Well, who cares, really? It's just some dumb internet person. Ignore it. Ignore it? I'm about to come down on this dude like Thor's hammer Mjolnir. I'm about to go Mjolnir on his ass. Donna, you wanted to see me? Yes, I did. Troll. What? You tried to adopt a cat last week, and I turned you down, because I thought it was too sad for you to have six cats. Then you tried to blow up my spot online. You're fired. You're not my boss. I work for the city attorney's office. You're fired. Donna, Kyle did not write those things, OK? I did. I know. You do? I checked what else that user had written. It was a review of a funeral home that said, great first date spot. I dragged Kyle in here to see if you would come clean. Well, you overestimated how much I care what happens to Kyle. Or anyone, really. But. I'm sorry that I didn't just talk to you. And I'm sorry I bailed on work. And I'm sorry I toyed with you instead of coming at you straight. From now on, we say what we feel. Cool? Cool. Your lipstick looks weird. You're gonna wanna shut your mouth right now. Good talk. John Ralphio. Looking hot, big T. Throw them both. What? Damn, girl, who are you trying to impress? Uh, just kidding, I know. Walk away. Yeah, you got it. Got your birthday shot. Oh, thanks, but now that it's legal, I've kind of lost interest. Suit yourself. Now remember, it's about finding a dog that captures your spirit. See? This is Craig. <laughs> oh no, that is insane. I will burn this place to the ground if you pick that one! Okay, good choice. You guys, Leslie. Yes! And? Ron Swanson! Yes. Oh my god, this is Larry. Huh? That's great. Thank Bingo, Donna, nailed it. Ooh. You're a poodle because you're pretty and you like makeup and stuff. Came over. Hey, okay, are you still mad at me about the poodle thing? It's just a dumb game, I can pick another dog. I'm not mad about the choice, I'm mad about the reasons. Pretty, makeup. Is that all you know about me? Mm, we don't hang out that much. It's not like you know a ton about me. You're beautiful, yet cold and aloof. You pride yourself on being a loner. You do not obey. You choose to cooperate. And when you stop bearing your fangs to pick a mate, it's for life. And you're fiercely loyal to your pack, which makes you a rare black Siberian husky. That was so spot on, it was scary. Did you need me for something? Yes, I want to figure out your spirit dog, and I'm going to do that by learning everything there is to know about you. All right. Game on. OK, what's your favorite color? For cars, it's gold. For shoes, it's red. Unless it's the weekend, then reverse them. Favorite music? 1970s funk and 1770s opera. And Sugar Ray, post Mark McGrath, after he left for entertainment tonight. Favorite book? 
Downton Abbey. That's not a... Downton Abbey. Okay. Um, describe your perfect Sunday. Church, do the Harper's Magazine acrostic, play my oboe in the jacuzzi while the sun sets over Puget Sound. Favorite movies? In order, Natural Born Killers, Remains of the Day, and Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey. Excellent. Thank you very much for your time. I will have your answer shortly. No idea. Okay, I've been working on this for three hours and I know your spirit dog. You are a Nova Scotia toller because you're outgoing and adventurous and you love Canada. No, that's not right. No, it isn't. But I appreciate the effort. We're good. Don't beat yourself up. You'll probably never guess what kind of dog I am. You're right, I'll never guess what kind of dog you are. Because you're not a dog, you're a cat. You're temperamental, you're unpredictable, complex, and hard to read. You make people work before you let them in. But if they put the time in and prove that they care, then you open yourself up to them. Right? No, 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 no. Hmm. There are no TVs anywhere. This place is lamer than outside. I'm chilling. What is that? Jim. You guys think I'm a border collie? So obviously a cocker spaniel. The spirit dog committee ruled on that weeks ago. There is no appeals process. <laughs> <laughs> um, totally, I'm in on the joke. I get it. If you fall, I will catch you. I will be waiting time after time. Time after time, time after time. Good stuff. It's never happened. So I chose you as my maid of honor because you've become one of my best friends and I love you like a sister. Ew. But also because you're tough. My family arrives tonight. I know, and they're all set with their welcome bags, and I told your brother, Lavandrius, that he is not welcome. Good, but still, there's gonna be 28 meagles in one room, which means there's gonna be drama. I will handle everything. I actually care whether you're having a good time and are happy. It's weird. The meagles are a cold-blooded crew of judgmental grudge holders. My cousin Winnie once forgot to use a coaster at my grandpa's house, and he wrote her out of his will. The last four Meagle family Pictionary tournaments ended at the hospital. Legally, no more than three Meagles are allowed on an international flight together. But they give great gifts. Gotta get that flatware. Hey guys, how's everything going? April, we couldn't be happier and you are an angel for asking. Yeah, it's surprisingly painless. No swiping, no passive aggressive comments, no drama at all. Here are all the troublemakers, boss. Thank you. Meagles, I am not screwing around, okay? Lauren, no more discussion of Mallorca. Mallorca is off limits. Brian and Gloria, stop making Horatio feel bad that your daughter went to Yale. No one gives a And Genuine? Yes. Get it together. I'm sorry, April. Kathy started this. I can't let this start. I don't care. She doesn't mean it. Don't cry, Genuine. It's OK. Thanks, Andy. Easy peasy. Lemon sneezy. Oh my god. Oh, look at how beautiful you look. Leslie, I'm not even in my dress yet. But you're gonna be very soon. All right, I wanna say something to my girls. Nope, you're a softy, but on the inside, you're a straight up boss. April, you're the exact opposite. Y'all inspire me and I love you. Donna, hey, how did I do? Everything was perfect. You are a miracle worker. But I gotta say, I kind of miss the Meagle drama. I thought for sure somebody was gonna do something crazy. But everybody's just nice and chill. Anyway, I love you. And to thank you, I'm gonna try not to hug you. Thank you. I'm going to No! Hug you. Okay. I hope you saved a slice of that cake for your estranged brother, Lavandrius! <gasps> What's up, girl? Didn't expect to see your baby bro at your wedding, huh? Well, I'm here, despite what you did to me all those years ago. What I did? This is because of what you did. Oh, you must be referring to the microwave incident. Yeah. Don't worry. I brought it back. Oh. Ah! Now, no one gets any popcorn. You said you wanted a little drama. 